said, Hey! Shout it out, he's my friend. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. 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 Friend forever. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back for another week of church together. And we are starting a brand new month. It is the month of June. And in June and all summer long, we are going to make waves. How do we make waves, you ask? Boys and girls, we are gonna be finding that out all summer together. We can make waves when we choose to live like Jesus did. And friends, when Jesus is our best friend, he can help us do that. In fact, I'm going to teach you the answer to a very important question that I'm going to be asking you all summer long. Here it is. Who can help you do everything? Do you have any idea who it is? It's Jesus. So we're going to say, Jesus can help me do everything. Try that with me again. Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's right, boys and girls. When Jesus is your best friend, he can help you do everything. And that reminds me of our memory verse for the month of June. I'm gonna say the whole thing for you one time and then I'll come back and teach it to you a little bit by a little bit. Here's how it goes. I can do everything everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Are you ready to try that with me? So first I want you to point at yourself and you're going to say, I, try that, I. And then spread your arms out because we're gonna be saying, can do everything. Try that with me can do everything. Good job, friends. Then point up and say, through Christ. Try that. Through Christ. Now I want to see your best muscles and you're going to say, who gives me strength. Try that. Who gives me strength. Good job. Wow, you're really strong. And now let me see your Bible. The book that this comes from is called Philippians. Try that with me. Philippians, and the numbers are 413. That's chapter four, verse 13. Try that with me. 413, great job, my friends. All right, let's go back to the very beginning all together and try it. Remember, we're gonna start with I. Here we go. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Great job, boys and girls. Well, you might be starting to wonder, what exactly can Jesus help me do? If he can help me with everything, what are we gonna be learning about? Well, this summer, we are going to be talking about something that is found in the Bible called the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit is what comes to us when we know Jesus is our best friend and that he is living inside of us. Do you wanna hear what the fruit of the Spirit is? I'll tell you. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Whew, that's a really long list. But boys and girls, remember I already told you, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's right, my friends. Do you remember what the first thing on that list was? It was love. So today, let's find out how Jesus can help us to love. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. to the beach. 
think some of it came home with me. Raise your hand if you like to play in the water. Me too. My friends and I played and splashed in the water all day. We looked around the beach and found some really cool things like this really cool piece of driftwood. And so many shells. But the most fun thing we found was really cool painted rocks. Some people painted them and hid them in places on the beach. Do you know what's on this rock? Shout it out if you know. One, two, three. A heart, yes, a heart means love. I love hearing the waves. I love playing ball. I love eating lollipops. There's so many things to love. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Found some treasures at the beach, did you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Someone painted this cool heart rock, and it reminds me of all the things I love. Love is important. It's true. I know the biggest love ever for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello there. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see what I made today? <laughs> I call them my heart full of love cupcakes. They've got hearts on top and yummy red frosting. And when you take a bite, they are full of red and pink heart sprinkles. They are so fun. <laughs> they go with today's story about why we should have a heart full of love for others. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with God. Do you know that God loves you so much? It's true. Stretch out your arms as far as you can. Yes, stretch really far. <laughs> Good, God loves you bigger than your arms can stretch. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, you can put them down now. Because God loves us so much, he gave us the best gift ever. God gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. Jesus was born on the very first Christmas. Did Jesus stay a little baby? No! Jesus grew up to do amazing things and show us how God wants us to live and how to love others. No matter where Jesus went or what he was doing, Jesus stopped to show others that he loved them. One day, Jesus stopped to talk to a man named Zacchaeus, even though Zacchaeus had made lots of bad choices. Jesus loved Zacchaeus no matter what. Then another day, Jesus had been teaching all day and he wanted to take a rest, but Jesus loved the crowd and wanted to help them. So he kept teaching them instead of going away. There was also a time when one of Jesus's friends, Peter, told people that he didn't know Jesus and wasn't friends with him. How would you feel if someone said they weren't your friend? I would feel sad and it would probably be hard to forgive them. But Jesus did forgive Peter. Jesus loved Peter and forgave him for telling people they weren't friends. Jesus is an amazing friend and God sent him to show us how to love everyone. Jesus taught us to stop and listen to our friends. Jesus taught us to help our friends. Jesus taught us to forgive our friends. When we stop to listen, help and forgive, we are loving like Jesus taught us to. Jesus can help us love everyone. 
Jesus can help us do everything. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loves us so much. He gave Jesus so we can choose love in all we do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. Jesus can help me choose to love, and love can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, one way I can choose love is by FaceTime my grandma. I can tell her I love her and show her my cool rocks. See you next time. Boys and girls, did you hear that? God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to be my friend and your friend and everybody's friend forever. And when we know that God loves us and when we know that Jesus is our friend forever, we can share that love with everybody and Jesus can help us. Jesus can help us to love others. Jesus can help us do everything. So friends, when I say, who can help you do everything? You know what to say, right? Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's right, boys and girls, so think about it. Who are you going to show the love of Jesus to today? Let's pray. Let's fold our hands. Bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be my friend forever. Help me show the love of Jesus to everyone I meet. I love you, God. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. All right, so, so far, we've got love on the list. Make sure you come back next week to find out what comes next. I'll see you back here then. I love you, boys and girls. Bye. Jesus is helping me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I believe His light can shine through me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I wanna be.
like Jesus. I can. I can love like Jesus. I can love like Jesus.